Hi, I'm Justine O'Brien, Conservation Science Manager here at the Taronga Conservation Society. And I'd like to acknowledge that we are all on First Nations land. And here in the Conservation Lab, we're very lucky and fortunate to be on beautiful Camaragal country, where the traditional custodians, the Camaragal people, have cared for and respected this land for tens of thousands of years. We continue to strive to learn from those who know how to tread carefully and gently on this earth, the original scientists and conservationists. And I'd like to pay my respect to this land's traditional owners, past, present and emerging. So today is the seventh International Day of Women and Girls in Science. And this is a really important day to mark the achievements and to celebrate the success of women and girls in science and technology and, and all the innovations that they've been driving. Um, for me personally, it's a wonderful day to celebrate the work of my peers um, and really to draw attention to all the pathways into science for the next generation. And at Taronga, we have so many different pathways that we'd love to share with you. So the theme this year of the International Day of Women and Girls in Science is equity, diversity and inclusion. And the diversity um, angle is, is really relevant to the work that we do here at Taronga. So we have a, a specialist science team working in many different areas. So we're truly multidisciplinary. And we'd love to share some of the programs that are linked to the theme this year of water health. And one of the areas that we work with is with uh, amphibians. So we have quite a few conservation breed for release programs where we're helping to support wild populations um, as they are impacted by many different threats in their native environments. Um, one of those programs includes uh, some cryobanking activities, which sounds a little bit high tech and science fiction-y, but, um, but we are getting some great results with securing the biodiversity of frog populations through cryobanking technology. We also have wonderful scientists, female scientists working on the Great Barrier Reef, working on reef recovery efforts and uh, technology that, help, that can help the reef adapt again to the changing environmental conditions that are, that are up ahead for us and for, for them. Uh, another area is the Australian Registry of Wildlife Health, which is a Taronga conservation research program. Uh, this group of wildlife pathologists uh, and wildlife health officers are responsible for detecting and diagnosing disease in free-ranging populations. Um, they do a lot of work in, in marine habitats, in freshwater habitats and, and also on land and work closely with our Taronga Wildlife Hospitals as well. And, and the green turtle is a very important uh, species for Taronga. It's one of our legacy program species. We do a lot of work even in the research and the hospital space where we see animals that do come to our hospitals for rescue and rehab. We see about 40 turtles a year in that space and when you think about that only one uh, hatched turtle out of a thousand eggs will make it to adulthood, every adult that we can put back into the ocean with a good chance of survival is very important for this species. Much like diversity is essential for our wildlife populations, diversity is also essential to our work programs and to our teams coming together to solve very complex environmental challenges and we're lucky to have diversity in gender at Taronga with more than 60% of our workforce being female. Um, we also aim to have diversity in our cultural backgrounds and in other workforce dimensions that really make a big, big impact on the challenges that we're trying to solve. If you'd like to get into wildlife conservation or any other area of science, it's probably important to do quite a general degree once you leave school. Um, that's something that I found to be very helpful. I, I really didn't know what, I, what area I wanted to get into and it was only at university when we started to have some specialised topics that I realised reproduction and reproductive biology was potentially a career path that, that I would connect to and, and, and do. I think it's important to note that there are many pathways to get to that career path that you may be connected with and enjoy. Um, you may not get that on the first go. So you might do a university course and realise that that's not, not for you, and that's fine. I think opening up the networks, doing work placements, internships, uh, volunteering, will often open up a, a whole new world that you didn't know existed. So the key message here is don't give up, keep trying, and there are many options out there for you. So on this seventh International Day of Women and Girls in Science, we're so excited to talk about the programs that our female scientists are leading and, and supporting. We'd also like to highlight the pathways to get into these science careers and our education programs uh, will be
putting a lot of content out to, to show you more about those pathways. Uh, we have some webinars that are pre-recorded that can give you information on the university degree that we co-deliver with the University of Sydney on wildlife conservation. Um, again, there are a lot of different pathways and, and courses and certificates here at Taronga that can help you find that pathway.